Buckingham Palace is one of the world's most famous landmarks. Home to the Queen, her team, her corgis, a horde of furry headed Queen's Guard soldiers, tourists from all over the world flock to the most regal place in London to take a picture with the iconic building. But what if it was the target of some kind of horrifying plot? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking what if Buckingham Palace was attacked? Before we get into this question, I want to bring your attention to the area just below this video. Down there we have the like button and the subscribe button, both of which I hope you have clicked on. We also have a description box which has a link to our Patreon and to our various social medias. Come along. Ok so back to the palace. You may not know this, but Buckingham Palace has been attacked and also has been at the centre of terror plots. In World War II, Buckingham Palace was hit 9 times, damaging portions of the building and its grounds, something that Queen Elizabeth recalls from her childhood. The royal family were unharmed and responded with a classic British stiff upper lip. The damage was repaired and life went on. Recently in 2017, Buckingham Palace was involved in a terror incident. A man deliberately drove a car at police officers outside the palace, then launched a knife attack with a four foot sword. The 26 year old shouted Allah Akbar as he launched his attack. He was detained by police and taken into custody. The thing is about lone wolves and small mobs, they'll never be able to attack the palace. Police numbers outside the building and in the surrounding area by far outnumber them. Not only does the palace have a lot of security, it also has high walls and gates and is constantly patrolled. If the palace was to be attacked, it would need to be a highly planned skilled Trojan horse style plot or an aerial attack. Of course the UK's skies are constantly monitored, so an aerial attack probably couldn't come from a bomber, it would have to be done by something like a drone. Either way, should Buckingham Palace be attacked, it would be the first time the building was hit in over 70 years. If the Queen and Royal Family were in residence, they would be evacuated as soon as it was safe. I have no doubt there are numerous safe rooms in the building. Buckingham Palace is a popular tourist area and an attack could cause a lot of chaos. The immediate area, including St James's Park and Green Park, would be on total lockdown. Victoria train and underground station would suspend service, as would St James's Park, Hyde Park Corner and Green Park underground stations, and there would be knock on travel disruption across the whole city, maybe even the whole country. Other landmarks, heritage spots and monuments would be on high alert too. I imagine the Houses of Parliament would be evacuated and London tourist attractions would close down for the day. Other palaces including Windsor Castle and Balmoral would be heavily guarded. Regardless of the damage caused, any attack involving Buckingham Palace would make international news. People would tweet from the scene and the world would start to understand what happened and why. Had any of the royal family been there at the time, the news would be bigger. Had citizens, staff or officers been harmed, the news would be even bigger. And had the queen or heirs to the throne been hurt, well, it would be the biggest modern act of treason we know of. Because of the nature of the building, despite the severity of an actual attack and how much damage was actually caused, the law would come down very hard on perpetrators. If caught, they would receive life in prison, and if other countries were involved in the plot, then it could have far reaching international political consequences, with the UN deliberating on just punishments. Like in previous attacks, eventually the damage would be repaired and life would go on. The ruling monarch would make strong, unwavering statements evoking patriotism, as would the current prime minister, and the British public and their allies would feel feel staunch in their response as they refuse to be cowed. Devastatingly, if the Queen was harmed, well, we've made a whole other video on that here at Life's Biggest Questions. That should now be clickable on the screen for you. Go on, have a question and answer binge. So there is an idea of what would happen if Buckingham Palace was attacked. I for one hope that it never ever ever happens. Let us know what you think would happen in the comments section down below. Make sure you hit that big beautiful like button and I will see you guys in the next video. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate, stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning. Hungry for more answers? Why not check out our biggest history questions playlist and our biggest what ifs.